maybe it's an indictment of what we do on some levels, but uh, I think the, the cycle, you know, I call it feeding the dragon, which may not mean something to everyone, but there is kind of a, a pressure to get things up quickly now that didn't exist 20 years ago, I don't think. Um, and certainly with newspapers, it's, uh, you know, the next day's paper was when most of this was going to show up. And so you, we had, dur at the, during the Thurston shooting, probably about the middle of the morning, I was contacted by the office and they had um, a news aide come out and grab film from everybody. Now it's, the story had been up for at least an hour prior to my arrival. And so you've got this, you know, huge story happening in the state with no photograph. It's like that was something that people definitely wanted uh, to have that next step. And so, like I say, you know, it, a iPhone photo <laughs> would have probably sufficed, but just at that point, nobody had, you know, f filled that role. And, and so that was my first awareness was that, you know, these photos were probably not gonna have a long shelf life, but that they, ha they served a purpose in that time span that we had. I think that, you know, there's kind of a reflexive notion, big story, you know, let's, we need to have some art. And I think, you know, our, uh, a photograph to go along with it. Uh, and I, you know, for me, I would rather have a really strong storytelling image, but when you've got a story like this going, evolving right in front of your face, it's like, it's hard to even judge. And so I have to say, I throw a lot of stuff at the wall and hope something sticks kind of early on and then kind of take a deep breath. I've been kind of uh, uh, one of the point people at the Register Guard for doing video, more video. and. Uh, so that was something I realized right early on that I could make a contribution there. Uh, and so I, you know, staked out a spot with my tripod in the scrum and, you know, kind of did what I needed to do so that I was able to capture some video when it was made, a, you know, the opportunity presented itself. And there, there was a woman there that I, I don't know exactly what she was doing, whether she was working for a blog or she was just an interested local person, but uh, she plopped down at a table next to me and she, her phone was dying and I had a three-pronged plug adapter in my bag and was able to help her out. And so we sort of established a relationship. Well, a little while later, her son came in and he'd actually been on campus. And so it, I laid the groundwork on it without knowing it for uh, getting an interview with him. And we were, so we were able to do a quick video, uh, kind of an eyewitness account with him that was, you know, totally unexpected. 